What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here from Darium's Pokemon. Going to be playing a game on PTCGO. I'm still trying to get together what I want to play for the Dallas Regional Championship coming up. I am just not the biggest expanded fan. I would love to just pull a move out of John Kettler's book. John Kettler last year did really well with Decidueye Valaplume in both formats. He played it at a standard regional, did really well, and then played it at an expanded regional, did really well. I would love to just pull that maneuver and play Buzzwole for both formats. I'm not exactly sure if fighting has the chops to be able to keep up in an expanded metagame where there there are just a lot of cards there are just a is a huge card pool there's a lot of threats in expanded that you just don't have to deal with in standard where fighting can kind of just run rampant in standard however zork is as big as ever in expanded format uh even bigger in expanded than it is in standard so uh with zork being so big maybe you know lichen rock maybe zor uh maybe buzzwool can you know kind of carve out a space for itself somewhere in expanded format and that's going to be kind of the focus of my testing for the next you know couple of weeks uh before dallas or i should say next single week before dallas and i'm playing against night march this is a bad matchup for me i have not included any cards such as karen or or Corio that would help me in my endeavor here so i am just in a bad spot so let's go ahead and see what we can do um i don't necessarily i want to go with my landris here i want to save these cards let's go ahead and ultra ball i have to unfortunately just grab my lele and go for a turn one n which is not exactly what i want to do this is not you know this is kind of like if i do play night march or if i do play fighting at dallas i think i'm kind of just hoping that I don't run into Night March. That's kind of the that's kind of the gambit. Uh, that's not exactly a great wager for me, but you know uh, there are not a lot. Uh, I mean that is kind of like your worst matchup. Uh, you know every deck has to take a worst matchup. You can't just you know you can't win them all. I think I would be hoping that I don't you know face any night march probably wouldn't want to see trevenant probably wouldn't want to see garbador but if i <laughs> if i am yeah, that's a lot of decks but if i could just play against gardevoir and zorark decks like if i could beat gardevoir and zorark decks with a fighting deck then you know i'm okay with that so we'll see how this matchup goes this is like my first draft of an expanded um of an expanded fighting deck uh, my own first draft I posted a list not too long ago for an expanded fighting deck however that was not my list that was a list that I found online this is my first go at it and this deck that I'm piloting right here is just very similar to my um, it is very similar to my uh, to my standard buzzwell deck I mean I'm not playing parallel city right now parallel city like could possibly be good my thought process was that I just want to set up as consistently as possible and get as many, you know, knockouts as I can, you know, as consistently as I can. So this is a little bit of, you know, my opponent, they're getting a great start. They got a field full of pump caboose. They seem to know what the strategy is going to be. I'm going for a turn to, um, you know, we want a turn to. Uh, Dangerous Rogue GX, probably on the Mars Shadow GX. That's like my thought process. We got the Octillery, so that's really good. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end my opponent. Um, they don't, you know, they don't have any sort of like Zoroark or anything like that out. They only have, you know, five prizes, so maybe not ending yet. Maybe I Colrus for. Um, I could probably, what, my opponent played the single puzzle to try and stack their deck. So I know that they've stacked their deck for next turn. Mm, I could end to disrupt that, though. Uh, I doubt that, you know, their hand right now is probably not super good. Let's go ahead and Abyssal first, since whatever I do, I probably won't have a hand this small again. I got the Landorus, which is great. And I got a Lycan Rock, so I can bring up something on my opponent's side of the field, knock it out. I probably want to try and bring up the Mars Shadow. So let's go ahead, bring up that Mars Shadow. Yep, uh, bring that out. And we're just going to try to out trade with my opponent here. That's going to be the goal. So let's go ahead, put that Buzzwool down to, I think. I mean, the Buzzwool's not great, but I need to hit an energy. Um, 
and that gives me an extra card to draw. Let's just go ahead and Culver's for eight. We should hit an energy off this. If we didn't, I would have been like super salty. So we got a Brooklet Hill, that's good. Let's go ahead and Brooklet Hill, grab another Pokemon. And my goal here is gonna be to try to uh, make it so that my opponent uh, you know, whiffs their 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 valley one turn. Like that would be ideal. I need them to whiff their valley. Rock rough would be good. I can get another lichen rock out. I could Zygarde, you know, Zygarde's pretty efficient to power up, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and get the rock rough here and attach the basic fighting. And then let's go ahead, knock this out, and then we're gonna go down to four prizes remaining. So uh, my opponent, they're going to have to be able to knock out this Lycan Rock if they want to trade efficiently with me. They've got three Night Marchers in the discard right now. I, you know, I made it so that their deck remains stacked. Uh, so they did get the D Valley. They have a Trainer's Mail there. Hopefully, they don't have like a super explosive turn. My my worry was that if they if I end them, that maybe they would have a better hand than what they had previously. So. I kind of expect this Lycan Rock to go down, uh, truthfully. I am playing three copies of Brooklet right now, so like that's kind of a strategy I have as well. I probably will have to just put Karen in this deck as much as I really don't want to. Uh, I went in just kind of, you know, just kind of hoping that I wouldn't run against Night March in my first deck. This is literally my first match in Expanded with this fighting deck. I think it's got potential. I mean, with Scramble Switch, uh, I mean, with Octillery, uh, all these fighting Pokemon are, like, really good. doesn't matter what format you're in. Like, they're really good for sure. So let's see. My opponent have, I mean, they got a 3, 4, 5, so they're doing 100, 130 right now. Um, they discarded a bunch of non-Pokemon with their Battle Compressor. Did they prize a bunch of Night Marchers and have... I think they did. So they must have prized a bunch of Night Marchers and they laid a bunch out on the first turn of the game, which is kind of like a classic mistake that Night March will make sometimes is that they bench a bunch of Night Marchers and then they're like, oh my gosh, I can't battle compressor enough of them away. So let's go ahead and I probably am going to, let's see, I could bring up the shame. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think I'm going to win this one. I think I could definitely run away with this. Let's go ahead and get these. We're going to bring up the Shaman uh, on my opponent's bench. And you can see just, you know, how quickly this deck is going to be able to just execute my opponent completely. Going to bring up the Shaman. And let's see, Claw Slash only needs a basic fighting attached. But I think I'm going to attach the Strong just so that I have a higher chance of being able to hit my Max Elixirs. Because now I want to just juice my deck. I induce my bench Pokemon as much as I can with this Colrus. So I need to hit a couple of max elixirs. And uh, let's see here. I could go ahead and build up the Zygarde. The Zygarde's like relatively safe. I could build up a Buzzwool, but the Buzzwool is not safe. I think I just build up this Landorus here and then try to judgment something for knockout. That's probably the goal. So Let's go ahead, Max Elixir, see if we hit it. We did. That's great. So I'll do that onto the Landorus. Uh, I can put the Floatstone probably down on my Octillery just so I have it. And then I'll bench the Zygarde as well just so I have some options. And now I am just so far ahead of my opponent that they're going to have a hard time keeping up. I mean, this is just... This is insanity. I've only played one Max Elixir, and you can see I've taken both a turn two and a turn three uh, GX or EX knockout with Lycan Rock. So even without a counter to Night March, they just stumbled for one turn, and now I'm looking like pretty poised to be able to pull this game off. Even if they knock this out, go down to three prizes, I can afford to take two single prizes here. I don't even need... Um, my opponent's playing Hex. That's not really going to make that much of a difference. That just means that I'm not going to be able to... Um, I, I guess... Did I not play that Brooklet last turn? I was very uh, distracted, I guess, by the fact that um, I'm going to win this game, even though I don't have a Night March counter. So let's go ahead, play that Brooklet, get that counter stadium in, and let's see. I could... 
I could go ahead and Lance Pulse. Lance Pulse would do 60 damage. That's not enough to knock that thing out. I could Guzma up the Tapu Lele, hit into it. Um, there, are, I want to, let's see, if I knock out that Pumpkaboo, my opponent still has three, four, five Pokemon. They're, all, they're still stuck at like 130 damage. Let's go ahead, check my deck real quick. See if there's any other Pokemon that I would want to bring out into play. Uh, I could probably just hammerhead my opponent and then say, like, I will um, what? probably say that I will then just hammerhead one more time or something for game. But I'd have to hammerhead for enough. Let's see. Let's just say done. I'm not going to get one of those. Let's see. Jet Punch. I could Jet Punch for... 50 minus 20, 30, 30, and then just say I'll do it again, but then I'd have to do it with the strong again. I'm trying to think, so like, what are my outs to be able to win? I'd have to double strong uh, Hammerhead on like two separate Pokemon. Let's go ahead and attach the, I think I'm going to put the Buzzwole down. I could attach the strong to Buzzwole and then go in, say I'm going to Hammerhead, but then I give my opponent that option there. Uh, I could attach the strong to Landorus. If the Landorus gets knocked out, I might be you know, out of luck here. So I think I do attach it to the Buzzwell, and I think I'm going to give myself multiple outs to be able to win this game by Sycamoring and looking to hit a Max Elixir on my Landorus. So the way that this play works out is if I hit this Max Elixir on my Landorus, then I, which I do, I think I put it onto, if I put it onto the Buzzwell, no, I need to put it onto the Landorus. So then I just need to draw into a Guzma to be able to win the game. I only have one Guzma in the discard pile. Uh, that is a little sketchy. That or I can do the, you know, I could do the play where I, I hit a strong energy and then I hammerhead for a game. So I have a couple of options here. That or I just sit. Um, it's a tough call. I think I'm going to jet punch and do 30 to the choice banded. Um, I think that's the play to the choice banded. Uh, let's see. Yep. We're going to do that to the choice banded, uh, pump kaboo. So then my thought process is next turn, if they don't retreat and attack with somebody else, then I get to, uh, just double knockout for a game. This is like a really weird kind of scenario for me. I don't know what the best play could have been. I could have Guzman up my opponent's Lele and hit into it, but that's got a floatstone on it. And then I didn't have Guzma for next turn. I know that my opponent is stuck two hit KOing most Pokemon, so maybe I should have not just given them the Buzzwole whatsoever. Maybe I should have. Uh, they're gonna go for a Guzma this turn. They are scared of my Lander. They're scared of my Landorus, I suspect. So they'll probably try to hit into something else. Putting down these Joltix. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? The Joltix were in there the whole time. Uh, oh, they must have gotten both Joltix off the prizes. So they got Guzma, but what are they trying to do here? Uh, because now, you know, yeah, they want to knock out the Landorus, but they can't knock out the Landorus. So now I could just retreat, and then I should be able to just double knock out for game. Uh, it's very weird, you know, kind of chain of events for me. I was trying, and now they don't have the stadium, right? So now I could just go ahead and I could just uh, retreat and then I can hammerhead for game. So uh, my opponent prized a lot of Night Marchers that game. That was like a really tough game for my opponent. So like pretty wild matchup there. I think like, you know, definitely got a little bit caught up, you know, in my head on that turn there right before the win, but we were able to get there with Buzzwell. So I'm gonna try rolling this one more time, see if I can get another good game in, in Expanded, just to see, you know, how Buzzwell Lycan Rock is doing in Expanded. I was not expecting to play against a Night March deck on my first time out, but you could just see how good of a Pokemon that Lycan Rock GX is. That card is insane. You know, when you have Scramble Switch, when you have Max Elixir, these fighting Pokemon can really swing with the best of them, even in expanded format, and I do believe that. So uh, even though there are a lot of threats, I think maybe if we just spend enough time, you know, trying to figure out what does a an ideal 
you know, list look like for expanded format for these fighting Pokemon. That you know, if you hit some, if you hit some good matchups, if you you know draw right, uh, things should be okay. I didn't really like that. Uh, I think that list was a Japanese list or something that Azul had been playing with that I had posted to my channel originally. And now we're playing against a dark deck. So fantastic. Should be great uh, matchup for fighting. I feel like there are just a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, of dark decks in expanded format right now. So that's kind of like my hope is that I can just roll up with a fighting deck and do okay. Uh, just because I play against, you know, enough dark decks that, you know, dark is like super overpowered in expanded format. So there's like a reason. But, you know, if you look at fighting, uh, fighting's not so bad itself. It's got a lot of things going for it. Buswell is a super powerful Pokemon. Uh, it's so powerful that in standard format, uh, people are playing, you know, Mew and Mewtwo just to counter it. So, you know, uh, with expanded format, people are not playing these counters uh, to be able to counter Buzzwool for the most part. Now, this, even though I'm playing against a Dark Ride deck, looks like my opponent is going straight for that Yveltal EX. They don't want to play no games with no fighting Pokemon here, so they are going to try to wall me off with the fighting resist resistant Yveltal EX. But that does not scare me, not in the least, because all of my fighting Pokemon have the ability to knock that thing out in one hit. So I am not too terribly concerned. Uh, you know, I could Lance Judgment that thing, knock it out. My opponent's got an Oracorio. Okay, so are they going to Sycamore the Oracorio? They are. Are they going to Juniper the Oracorio? They figure they don't want it in this matchup, even though they could uh, Revelation Dance my... Uh, they could Revelation Dance, you know, my Buzzwall for 120 damage with the Choice Band, something like that. So, pretty heads-up play by my opponent going for the Yveltal EX here, seeing my fighting Pokemon. I'm excited about this opening hand. This is great news for me. Let's go ahead and Brooklet Hill, and we're going to go ahead and set up a Rock Rough. We want to get we want to get a Lycanroc GX going here as quickly as possible. I am just going to attach my single fighting energy to Landorus here, and probably just... And my opponent does not want this Dark Rye in the active position, so uh, there's really no reason to Guzma anything else up. I just want to get some more draw going. So I could Ultra Ball away my Zygarde and my Choice Band here. Could attach the Choice Band. I uh, probably could just go for my Tapu Lele next turn to continue to draw cards. Attach the choice band, then I'm hammerheading for 30, 50, 80, 160. Oh, that's so good. And then I could just snipe it with another hammerhead later in the game. That is insane. That is really, really powerful. I don't think there's any reason to do anything else other than next turn. I'm probably just going to Ultra Ball for a Lele. Unless my opponent, you know, super heads up and just hexes me or something like that. But I doubt that's going to be what happens when they are just under this much pressure to do stuff. So I'm just going to sit on this hand. I don't think I want to attack with Zygarde next turn, even though Zygarde could like one hit KO, you know, a Darkrai potentially. I think I'm good with just Buzzwell and Landorus. So let's just go ahead and Hammerhead. And uh, I'm not really afraid of this Yveltal. I think I would like, uh, I, I should probably put 30 damage on it though. Even though I'm not scared of it, I should probably do that. 160 damage on the first turn of the game. Holy moly, there goes Landorus EX doing his thing. That's a combined total of 190 damage on the first turn of the game with one energy attachment. Beautiful. This is what we signed up for. This is fantastic. All right, so my opponent's going to start to let those max elixirs run. If they do, uh, I've got a Buzzwool on the bench. Uh, now, I haven't even added uh, the fact, I have not even added a Regirock to this list yet. Uh, to be honest, I forgot it. Uh, I also don't know how useful it is. However, if I had, you know, Regirock EX in this deck, I could have Ultra Balled for Regirock EX and just gone ahead and knocked that Dark Rye out in one hit. Now, I'm not terribly concerned. Regirock EX takes up a valuable bench spot right now. I'm playing two copies of Zygarde EX. Just in case, let's see, what is my opponent going to do? They're trying to haze me in some kind of way. I think at this point, I just, oh my gosh, I'm going to take four prizes this turn. Check this out. I am just going to double strong, uh, hammerhead, knock out this dark eye and that dark eye. This is nuts, guys. This is totally crazy. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to Guzma up this dark eye. 
and let's get them all right so we are cooling right now like we do not care we've got a, a supporter card in hand let's go ahead hammerhead and knock out the other dark Rai. four prizes in one turn four prizes on the second turn of the game this is insane this is totally crazy uh i mean this is going swimmingly i mean i i think that uh I could definitely see myself playing <laughs> this deck uh, at Dallas, you know, if not for any other reason, the fact that I just get to pull off plays like that. That's great. Uh, I really liked that. That was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, uh, four prizes on the second turn of the game. You go, Landris. Do your thing. Uh, my opponent, I don't think that they are going to be able to knock out this Landris with, unless it's with Dark Ride GX. Like if they dead end GX me or something this turn, I could see that. They have to get a Dark Ride into play though. To, uh, they could manually retreat. That seems bad. Uh, if they do though, like I don't even care. I only have two prizes remaining. I can easily Max Elixir onto the Rock Rough um, and find a, a, another Fighting Energy and then just knock out any of these Pokemon here for game. So. I think maybe, you know, the Reggie Rock EX does need to go in here just to help get you to that 180, that perfect 90 damage with the Choice Band Strong and, uh, you know, Choice Band Strong and Reggie Rock getting in that 90 to do 180 to a Darkness type Pokemon. And then 180 is even relevant against Zorark GX because then you can hit it for 180, then bring up something else and then do 180 to a Bench Zorark, snipe, knock out the other one. So. That's looking really good. And now I just need a fighting energy and I'll just land judgment for game. So I don't even need it. Like, oh my gosh, let's go ahead. I'm a max elixir. I mean, this is, I have a million ways to be able to win this game right now and it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead. I'm going to ultra ball away Colrus and Zygarde. I'm going to get a Pokemon that I don't need like this Zygarde. And I can bring up a Shaman or something on my opponent's bench and then uh, i should just be able to knock this thing out so yep let's bring up oh you know what let's just bring up the dark rye and then let's just give them the same old treatment so let's just do that and then we're just gonna hammer it again uh so three turns three knockouts dark rye going down and just that was fantastic so two games with lichen rock uh, Buzzwool. This is like pretty much the same list that I play in standard format. That was fantastic. I mean, that went way better than I was expecting it to. So obviously, Dark Rye seems like pretty solid matchup for this deck. Night March, you know, looks like you can steal some games against Night March, uh, even if they pri if, you know, so long as they prize enough Night Marchers. But you saw there, I took you know, EX or GX knockouts on the second and third turn of the game. So that's a lot of pressure coming from Buzzwell there. I'll go ahead and show off the list here uh, so everybody can see it. But, you know, I mean, th this, you know, my first couple games, this literally, you're seeing my first two games with this list. Uh, this is just kind of a modified version of my standard deck list. You saw only two VS Seeker. Um, that is just me trying to find some space in this deck. I don't think you need four VS Seeker anymore, especially with Seismitoad in format, Trevenant in format. Like, I'd rather just play all these draw supporters and just, like, have great hands. Like, you saw in these two games I played, just great hands all the time. I didn't have VS Seeker when I didn't want it. You know, I still have three copies of Guzma, so I can still play just hard copies of Guzma to get out of Trevenant Lock. I can use Lycan Rock to get out of Trevenant Lock. Colrus, you know, I could just Colrus every turn, draw an absurd number of cards, and be able to Lycan Rock, you know, out of a Colrus play, something like that. Um, this is like my first draft. Like I said, I was missing Floatstone a little bit. Like it kind of sketched me out some turns where I didn't have it. I cut down to two Floatstone. That's a little bit of a consolation. Bumped up to three Brooklet Hill just because I want this deck to just be like the epitome of a fighting deck here in expanded format. I want it to just, you know, hit everything it needs to hit. I got the pseudo Wudo for the Zorark matchup. Like, obviously, that's not great, but I have the three, you know, it's not great because they can hex around it and still take knockouts. But, you know, you should be taking significant knockouts against that deck all the time. And if they're playing the, 
if they're playing the dark uh, Grimer, you could just go ahead and knock that thing out too as early as the first turn of the game if they put it down for you. So three Brooklet Hill just to get that pseudo Wudu early to set up Rock Ruffs early. This is kind of just uh, what I'm going with right now. So thank you all for checking it out. Let me know what do you guys think of fighting in expanded format. I think it's got a shot of competing with the other best decks in standard format. Let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching the video. Peace.